A lot of famines in stores, right? We might not see it here, but hey, you got South Africa, right? They're experiencing major famines, right? Meat shortages, chicken shortages, pork, uh, what is it, like 5% or, or, or something like uh, one fifth or something like that of uh, pigs is dead, huh? In the world. All oh, praise to the most high, right? But you got, you know, you got shortages, that's the famine. But what's also going to come the famine of the word, right? Give me uh, Amos chapter 9 and verse 11. These things are inevitable, and you know, we also see them happening now. So we also got to, you know, stay prayed up and also give our praise to the Most High that He prolong, you know, He doesn't prolong the days of Babylon. Right? That's right. You see this place coming to the end. Famine of the Word. It's the Book of Amos, chapter eight and verse eleven. Bring it out. Behold, the days come, right. saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor of a thirst for water, right. but of hearing the words of the Lord. And the Lord, he said, it's gonna be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord. You're not even gonna be able to come outside and get the word. You're not gonna be able to go on YouTube, you're not gonna be able to go on a, a, a daily motion video, whatever you listen to the Israelites, right? Right, but you're not gonna be able to, to go to your favorite resource and listen to the word of the Lord. There's gonna come a time where that's gonna, you know, that's gonna be outlawed, right? They're, all, they're already outlawing what, religion, Christianity, Right? You already got all types of uh, religious being outlawed in bed. Right? So how much more, you know, hear the, the true words of the Lord? Right? Come, on, come on. Give me uh, the, book, the World Order book. You still got it here? Eliminated or in prison. Now this is this is the uh, the plan for the new world order, right? This is the plans that they have up their sleeve, that crafty council that they got planned, right? Read it one more time, dude. God, the reads religion will be outlawed, and believers will either be eliminated or in prison. Right? There will be a new religion, the worship of a man and his mind, and all will believe in the new religion. Does that not sound like idolatry? You worshiping your man and your mind, man. Right? So if there's going to be a new religion coming upon earth, and there's going to be no words on the side, right? You're going to be looking to and fro for a Bible, you know, one scrap of a Bible. Hey, you might look for a corner of a Bible page. Just one person, I need my verse of the day. Right? Every time you first look that verse of the day, every time you first look, you know, reading that one chapter, reading that one psalm, that one psalm that was like six verses long, right? Every time you forsake that, you gonna, those thoughts are going to come up and replay in your head every day over and over. And you're going to be like, damn, why did I not read? Why did I not study? Right? There's going to be a family out there. You're not going to be able to get the resources to get that salvation that we, you know, we deserve. That That's word right. is truthful. That's right. Verse 6. Where wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Where right? wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. It's not just a little bit of wickedness that caused us to go off, right? It's a wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And look who's over us. Of course, we got a whole book called the New World Order, right? So wickedness has exceedingly polluted the earth, right? And their heart for works are fulfilled. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as they touch as touching their wickedness. And the Lord said, I'm not going to hold my tongue anymore. Meaning, I'm going to let my foot off the gas. Right? I'm going to let my foot off the brake and we just going to go. Right? All hell is going to break loose. Man. All hell is going to utterly break loose. Right? The Lord said he's not going to you know, hold his tongue anymore. Meaning, you know, all, you know, it's going to hit the fan. Right? Which they pro profanely commit. Right? Right? Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Meaning the Lord, he's not gonna allow these things to happen on earth anymore, right? The Lord, he's gonna bring death, destruction, famine, the sword, all these types of things on the earth to punish the men of the world, to punish the men who are, you know, are burning in their lusts, right? Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cries unto me, right? and the souls of the just complain continually. Right, we complain continually. I know you wake up and you make your prayer and your supplication to the Most High, right? And you ask the Lord to further destroy the heathen, destroy this wicked nation, right? Even to destroy your damn boss. Hey, if we looking, you know, for that salvation, how can we do it without complaining and crying to the Most High, right? And therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Right, give me 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6. The Lord said he will surely avenge them. That's right. 
Right? The Lord, he's not going to be slack in revenging his own. The Lord, he's not going to be slack. And, and, and the Lord's not going to make no tyranny. That's right. Just how we can't make any tyranny, the Lord's not going to make any tyranny. Right? Once that 144 gets sealed, that's when the Lord's like, okay, I'm going to put y'all on go. Right? And all hell is going to utterly break loose. Right? Second Thessalonians chapter 1 and 6. Right? Seeing it is a righteous thing with your howl to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Right? So just how we go through tribulation as a woman and travail as a nation, right? They're going to go through tribulation, right? As many nations, right? Every other nation on this earth is going to get all hell, man. Hey, there's hell to pay, right? Because we had to pay that. That's right? true. Done. Verse 8. Verse 10. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Right. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Right. We're led as a flock to the slaughter, right? And, and like we read earlier, Egypt being synonymous, uh, symbolically uh, America, right? But you will no longer uh, suffer us or allow us to be dwelling in this wicked queen, right? But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues. Right, just how he did back in, back in uh, the first Egypt, the original empire, right? He's gonna do the same thing like you read about in Revelation 16, right? As before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Right. Egypt shall mourn. And it's like, it's like, he didn't say he was going to destroy Georgia. He didn't say he was going to destroy Savannah. He didn't say he was going to destroy North Carolina, Tennessee, Bring it Texas out. as a whole. He said destroy the whole land. Right? Read that part again. And will destroy all the land thereof. Right? There's going to be nothing here. It's going to be what? Dirt, gravel, right? Ashes. If that, if you get dirt, right? Stuff. It's going to look like Wally in here, man. The earth and water, right? Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague right. and, oh, and punishment that God shall bring upon it. Right? America's going to mourn, right? You got the American dream, right? You got uh, uh, Uncle Tom, Rosie the Riveter, right? Whoever, you know, they set up to be uh, uh, famous people or, or whatever idols in America, right? Egypt's going to mourn. America's going to mourn. They're going to lament. And guess what? They're still not going to lament, right? They that till the ground shall mourn, where their seeds shall fail through the blasting in hell, and with a fearful constellation. And they're going to be like, why, why is my stuff not growing? You know, I'm, I've been farming for 20 plus years. Why is my carrots not growing? Right? Why is, why is there a famine? Why can't I grow these things? Right? Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw not. Gun. Hey, sister, what's your nationality? What? I said, what's your mask? Your... I can't hear you, sis. You gotta take the mask off. <laughs> I don't think she, she must speaks speak English. English. I don't think she speaks English. No English? Speak Spanish? Espanol. Espanol? What's your nationality? Sister with the jean jacket, what's your nationality? What's your nationality, sis? All right, she's been warned. Small, right. short, something. Small, just something. I'm not dealing with this, man. I'm not dealing with, you know, asking, pleading a thousand times, oh, what's your nationality? Please tell me. Verse 15, for the swore and their destruction draw not, and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right, it's going to be, you know, race wars in this thing. Not only that, hey, a man might fight you just because, you know, uh, you, you ain't got enough food in your pantry for him to take. Right. Because we understand the famine's coming. We understand also there's going to be a tradition among men. Men are going to be breaking down doors like we're going to read, right? And swords in their hands. Right, with swords in their hands, meaning they're not, they don't have two swords like you see in the anime. Right, they're going to have <laughs> guns. Right, they're going to have AKs. They're going to have, hey, people are getting locked in motor. Right. We didn't know. People are doubling up on the guns. It's in the news. Right. People are, you know, getting locked and loaded because people understand, you know, the Lord, he's put, he sent his spirit throughout the earth and we understand that, man, it's going to get bad out here. People understand it's going to get bad out here. People are understanding the, the economy is falling, right? The, uh, there's a scarcity in food, right? People understand it, right? Well, there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Right, there's going to be a sedition among men and invading one another. Right? What does that mean? Your door is getting broken. Why right? you got to put, you know, uh, uh, in every BET movie, they got like 50 locks on the door. Right, it's going to be that. You're going to have to put the wood on the door so they can't come in. 
you know? People gonna be busting windows, jacking cars, right? And they, they gonna be even siphoning for the oil. You know, you put the tube in somebody, uh, uh, oil, the fuel tank, you getting gas out of it, right? It's gonna be scarcity, man. That's already happening in South Africa, right? They should not regard their kings nor princes. Right, they're gonna say to hell with what Biden says, to hell with Kamala says, right? They're gonna say to hell with their French parliament, to hell with the Russian uh, 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 magistrates. They're gonna say to hell with all these uh, uh, top leaders and governors and, and uh, uh, senators, whoever, you know, however that works. Right, they're gonna say to hell with what they say. I'm gonna do me to feed my family. That's, right. That's how it's gonna be. That's right. right. And the course of their actions shall stand in the power. And so whatever you got, like I said, it's gonna be the survival of the fittest. Hey, whatever power you, you possess, hey, if you got a gun, if you got a, a damn uh, crowbar, whatever you have, that's gonna be your defense. But ultimately, you understand that yeah, 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 no, 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 like, no, no, the Messiah no, is gonna be a shield. That's right! You understand uh, that the uh, weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. And they already setting up checkpoints. Right, you know those uh, those LED signs on the highways? Right, those are checkpoints being set up to where you have to be vaccinated or you might have to take the chip or whatever the case may be. These things are already being set up to where you can't pass a certain part of the city. Right, you might, you might have soldiers standing at the front of your neighborhood. Right, you might not even be able to leave your own neighborhood. Right? You know, you got the uh, the residential tanks patrolling. Right, you never know what can, you know, what this devil has. Right? For because of their pride, the city should be troubled. And the city's going to be troubled, man. You, you looking up from your from your high-end uh, uh, loft or whatever you have, and all you see is nothing but uh, uh, tanks in formation, right? This is this happened, I believe, in D.C., right? They had tanks in formation, right? You see tanks on the highway already, right? FEMA buses, the white FEMA buses, right? And men should be afraid. Right, men are going to be afraid. The houses should be destroyed, and men should be afraid. A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword. Uh, uh, right? But a man, you know, a man's not going to be afraid of another man. He's not going to be like, dang, I don't know what he has. He might, he might kind of be waiting, right? Hey, hey, you got to do what you got to do in that day, right? You open in the door, the man is behind the door, you put your foot in the door, right? And you kind of push it up against the door, right? You got to do what you got to do in those days, right? It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 9 and verse 4. Take ye heed every one of his neighbor. And trust ye not in any brother, for every brother will utterly supplant, and every neighbor will walk with slander. Hey, you can't even, hey, you, know, you can't even trust me though. Hey, it's gonna get like that, huh? Sure. You know? so it's gonna be that. It's gonna be that so much sedition and spirits going around. You think these spirits are bad? Oh, just wait. Right? It's gonna be invading one another, right? Spiritual attacks, man. Right? Physical attacks because of spirits. Right? The Lord, He set a standard. Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, right. but should destroy their houses with the sword. And hey, you could be friends with your neighbor Reno for 20 plus something years. Right? Y'all y'all could have probably moved in together. Right? Y'all, y'all, you know, y'all have family picnics and cookouts and barbecues. Then the next thing you know, there's a shortage on food. This man's like, open a damn door. You know? Hey, where you, where your pantry at? Where's all the food at? And then he pointing the gun right at your door. Alright. And spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Right, lack of bread, great tribulation. Hey, when a baby has no more diapers, right? When a baby has no more milk or formula, and he's just crying, and you getting irritated because you hungry, and the baby's hungry, and it's hot outside. You know how Jake get when it's hot outside. Hey, fist break out when it's hot outside. Uh, fist fights <laughs> break out when it's hot outside. So imagine you sweltering hot. You know, Eve, they get irritated when it's hot. I want to go inside. Where's the AC? Right? And you know Eve get irritated when it's hot outside. Right? Imagine that mixed with no food, lack of water, right? You just swelter and sweat. Right? Imagine that. Behold, Sam God, I will call together all the kings of the earth right. to reference me, which are from the rising of the sun, from the south, from the east. Right? And Lapinus to turn themselves one against another. And the kings, they're going to turn themselves against another. Right, the top heads of these countries are going to be, you know, to hell with this country. I, I think I'm going to, you know, kind of send that missile over. You know, they're going to be saying, very well, very well, we send that damn missile right now. Right? Go on. And repay the things that they have done to them. Right, they're going to repay the things. Hey, you know, uh, you got uh, conflicts with oil, right? They're saying, okay, we all didn't want to give us this. Cool, missile, right? Like as they do yet this day unto my chosen. Right? It's going to be the same way they're going to be paying vengeance to them, the same way they do to us. Right? 
so will I do also and recompense in their bosom, thus saith the Lord God. My right hand shall not spare the sinners, and my sword shall not seize over them. Hey, brother, what's your nationality? Hotel. Yeah. Hotel. What's your nationality, it's brother? Hotel. Somebody hit that pole. Zoo. Zoo. And my sword shall not seize over them that shed innocent blood upon the earth. Right, the Lord is not, the, you know, the Lord's sword is not going to, you know, uh, kind of say, you know, the Lord kind of send a missile from one country to another. That that missile's not going to be like that. I don't know about this. You know, kind of, kind of, you know, stop going. You know, kind of, kind of, uh, 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 flame out. Right? The, 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 the missile doesn't miss his mark. The fire is going forth from his wrath and have consumed the foundations of the earth and the sinners like the straw that is kindled. Woe to them that sin and keep not the commandments. And woe to them that sin and keep not the commandments. Thus saith the Lord, I will not spare them. Go your way, ye children, from the power that bow not my sanctuary. Right? The Lord, he said, hey, uh, uh, you know, the Lord's kind of going to deny them. Like, hey, get away from me, man. I'm nowhere near you. Right? You didn't want to keep my commandments when I, you know, when it was offered to you, don't keep them now when you're in trouble. Right? That's like only calling a person when you need money. Right? Or only talking, you know, only want to be around somebody just because, you know, uh, you need something from them. But sure. when, you know, they're going through tribulation, you don't, you know, you, you kind of lose that number. You go sure. first. Right? The Lord's the same exact way. Right? For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against him, right. and therefore deliver he them unto death and destruction. But the Lord, he's going to deliver the wicked to death and destruction. I'll take them. Yeah. I mean, what's your, what's your nationality? What's your nationality? Nationality? You gonna ask me yeah, a like question, but when it. I ask you a question, you walk away. For now are the plagues come upon the whole earth, and ye shall remain in them, for God shall not deliver you. Because he has sinned against him. And the Lord's not gonna deliver you if you can constantly sin it. You're not trying to correct your ways, right? You trim your ways to seek love after the ways of this world, right? Behold and horrible vision and the appearance thereof from the east, right? Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. Right, the Arabs, they're gonna come with their chariots, right? Their tanks. Hey brother, what's your nationality? <laughs> Hey, you're not black, brother. You're an Israelite. Right? And the multitude of them should be carried as the wind upon the earth, right. that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Right. All they that hear them are going to fear and tremble. Right. Also, the Carmanians, raging and wrath, shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And so the countries of the Middle East, the Ishmaelites, Right, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna kind of uh, come with wrath and indignation against what? Or against who? what nation? Right. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them, and shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. Right, the Assyrians. Now we know America is modern day Assyria, right? So they're gonna come. So they're gonna come and waste a portion of the Assyrians, right? And then shall the dragons have the upper hand, remembering their nature. So do you believe that America is going to be destroyed? America is fucking in the worst turmoil it's ever been in its life. Good! Okay. Hey, this place is finished. You want to tell you why? Because we're, we're fucking, we're bringing a rebuttal back, right? No, no, not we. Who? Not we. Us? No. Who? You. You. Me. I've never, I've never self-deprecated myself in anything. Listen, I Do you refer here. yourself as an American? No, I don't. Why do I? Because I, I don't go against the I grew up in the worst hood in America. Alright, alright, well, with that, keep going, King. Keep going, I am King. finished listening to you. Man. Why? Because you say you grew up in the worst hood. Where? Do you see our people? Do you see New York is the worst hood in America. Tell me the difference. I grew up, my brother, is, my, all my family is black. All your family? What does that have to do with me? That doesn't mean anything. It's all his family black. So why black. do you think it up? Why do you say it's in it? Why? Because our 
She went to inquire of the Lord, and the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb. Right? Who? And two wow. manner of people. No, no, one manner of person. Two manner of people. The same personality. Two, two manner, manner of people. Two manner right. of people were right. in her womb. That's fine. Why are we different then? Tell me. Tell me right now. Why? Tell me. Explain this. I me. just told you the Bible said it. That's the Bible said it. The Bible said it. Is it the first or second testament? What the hell is the first testament? <laughs> Tell me one thing. Listen, I'm on your side. You're trying to fuck this with me. This is the Old Testament. I'm trying to fuck with you because I'm trying to get you Listen, out of here. I'm knowledge. Tell the me Lord why the fuck. You Listen, I want to be on the same play, playground yeah, you as you are. Keep ready. going. Keep reading this. I want to hear this shit. Spit it to me true. This Please. is the book of 1 Samuel, yes. chapter 2 and verse 3. Right. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Ah. Let right. that arrogancy come out of your mouth. No, no, it's arrogancy egotistical is coming shit. Out of your mouth Keep coming. No, that's you. egotistical. You're not going to talk over because me. You're not going to talk. Calm down. Relax. Relax. You're right. talking over me. Relax. I need you to relax. You're talking over okay. me. I'm, I'm not going to relax okay. until Bring I... Bring it up. Egotistical Bring shit up. is what? Arrogance. Why? Because you think you're better than what? Oh, That's me. right. Yeah, we spit that shit to wow. me. Spit that shit to me. Right, listen to this. Come on, one of you. Revelation chapter 13 and verse know, number 9. You know, if any man crazy. have an ear, let him hear. I hear everything. Come okay. On. He that lives into captivity, captivity shall go into captivity. Who's captivity? Right? Come on. Ours. That's right. That's right. Yeah, what you yeah. said. <laughs> captivity. Who, who held me captive? Did you not? Did you? Did your people not lead our people? Into Who is my people? You know what? You know what to say. Did you say you put down Caucasian no, on the paper? No, no, no. I am, I am fucking Sicilian and German from a different descent. You're still a Caucasian. You're still right. a Edomite. Right. Exactly. That doesn't change. Anything. So what? Just different? because that's just for the pros that were under the curse. What? What they descent? know who they are. What we know. What, right. what descent are you, brother? Ah, uh, he said, brother. Okay. What descent are you? Right. I'm we're Israelites. What? You're what? We're Israelites. For God's so you believe in Israel? No, no, no. I believe I'm an Israelite because that's what the Bible says. Hey, what, 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 what did you come up here for? I was trying to speak about it. Yeah, you said you, you're literally created in vain. You don't know what you're talking about. Where? The Lord's going to destroy you. That's the purpose why Lord, we're here. That's, that's right. That is why you're up here. You came up here to get your judgment. Oh, that's what you're up here for. Right. I don't give a damn what you're judging. The Lord is going to judge you. That's right. That's right. Good. 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 The brothers keep saying good. Judge me right. right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, wrong. and verse 1. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Right. And yet choose Israel. Right. And set them in their own land. Right. And the strangers shall be put, so, so it, shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob. You trying to cleave. Now you saying I, I was I'm black. Right here. I was raised around black people. Where? What, what does that mean? That, that, just, proves the, that just proves me. the Bible. That Boy. doesn't mean shit to me. Just, so why speaking. do you bring it up? Fact. I'm an extrovert, so this. Let's, let's keep going. I love hearing you. Let's go. I'm not against this. Right. Is this is killing, this is Why do you think I'm against you? Bring it up. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 30 and verse 16. No. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Hey, all that prey upon us. Why can't we be together? Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 14. And it shall be as the chaste roe and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee every one to his own land. Right? A man is going to be towards his own people. 
right? Behind closed doors, I know damn well you don't give a damn about us. Come on, you don't have to pretend. We're up here for the truth. We're up here telling the truth. Right? We don't hate lie you. to me, bro. We don't, don't lie to yourself about lying to me. You don't have to hide that you hate us. You know what I mean? You could be playing fun take. I love this shit. Keep going. Keep talking, brother. I love this shit. We're going to keep bringing out our list. Every one. Hey, hey, hey. Verse what? Don't die, verse 10. Hey, let's bring it out. Break me down. Break me Break me down and build me the fuck back up. Okay, no. That's all right. If you can't build me up, then what kind of man are you? If you can't build me up from when you break me down, what kind of man are you? That's that's whole shit. Let me tell you, that's whole shit. Come on, build me up. That don't even sound right coming out of his mouth. That's whole shit. That's whole shit. That's whole shit. You wanna hop in there? Alright, hey. You might kinda cry. I don't know. Break me the fuck down. And you wanna break it down, Ah? And then what you wanna break it down? Let's go. Try to get shit. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. Bro, bro, hey, 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 hey. Big brother E, big brother E. So what's your, what business you got over here? What is it? What, what, what do you want to know? What, 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 you want to know what's going on? Listen, we're, we're in a public auction, right? Come on, see what's going on. Give me Ciroc chapter 41 and verse 5. Go ahead. Okay. My back in. Somebody give me Ciroc, I mean, let me get Psalm chapter 58 and verse 3. I don't know. Here. Somebody give me Exodus 21 and verse 16. I can't believe how you think I'm against you. When I'm here listening to you. God! That's right. That's right. Okay. No, hold it, hold it. This is the book of Sirach. Right. Yeah. Chapter 41 and verse 5. Yeah. The children of sinners. Of what? The children of sinners. Of who? The, the children of sinners. sinners. Who taught us how to sin, man, in America? Yo, wait. My people. Who's my people? Huh? Tell me. What time? Abominable Tell me my people. Are abominable children. Uh huh. And they, so I get, and they that are conversant. In the dwelling of the ungodly. Hey, y'all converse in the dwelling of the ungodly. Y'all are ungodly people, man. Bring that out, kid. Right, right, what you holding? Right, right. Get to the seventh right. dimension. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see if you're ungodly. We put the power of you ungodly. Read. Right, right, right. Keep going. Book of Exodus, chapter 21, and verse 16. Read. And he that stilleth a man. He that what? He that stilleth a man. Was well, not right. Germany part of the, uh, uh, right, right, right. the sub Saharan? They have the sub, the sub Saharan slave trade. And what? They kicked out the kingdom of uh, Japan. You feel me? I was a slave. Let's keep going. Let's and guess what? And then they took out. And then they took Let's the slave. I love it. And sell of him, or if he be bound in his hand. They're not your people, so-called Americans. I'm going to just use that. So-called Caucasians. You're German, right? Where? What? You're a damn devil, okay? Where? Right. Period. Where? 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 North or This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare right. for the slaughter for his children. Do what? Prepare the slaughter right. for his children. Three. For the iniquity of, of their, their father. father. The Lord said prepare a slaughter for y'all, man. Who's my father? Tell the name. You know, your father. Who's my father? Genesis 25 and 25. That's right. Tell me, why are you against me when I'm trying to be with you? Somebody give me Numbers 12 and 12. Numbers 12 and 9, man. Let's get that out. Genesis chapter 25 and verse 25. Genesis what? 25 and verse 25. And the first came out red. The what? And the first came out red. All over like an hairy right. garment, uh -huh. and they called his name Esau. Hey, Esau, I'm not Esau. A shah who you have never heard of, it, okay? Never heard of him. Tell me one time, who is that? Tell me, sit on that. Who's Chapter that? Chapter 12 and verse 12. Okay. Okay. Verse 12. Who? Let her not be as one dead, uh -huh. of whom the flesh is half consumed. Uh -huh. When he cometh out of his mother's womb. When he what? When, when he, he cometh out of his mother's womb. Hey, you have consumed, man. Look at you. You got no damn melody. Bring that. Go back to the verse 9. Verse 9, uh -huh. and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Esau to read. And he departed. And he what? And he departed. And the cloud departed from the tabernacle. Uh -huh. And behold, Miriam became leprous. He became what? Became leprous. Don't the Lord have everybody with lepers? Read. White as snow. What? White as snow. What? White as snow. What? White as snow. snow. That's who you are. You're a damn red ass dragon, man. Come on. Bring that out here. Numbers chapter 9 and verse 13. Uh -huh. But the man that is clean, but the, what? the man that is clean, the, what? the man, man that, that is clean, clean and is not in a journey and forbeareth to keep the Passover, uh -huh. even the same soul shall be. 
Don't be trying to come over here and build with us, man. Let me get uh, let me get somebody give me the book of uh Ezra chapter four and four. Okay. I can't build with you. This is the book of Hebrews chapter four and verse twelve. For the word of God is powerful. It's it's, lucky. it's quick and powerful. And it's sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing unto the body asunder of soul and spirit. Hey man, this thing hurts clean. though. This word hurts. You hate to be cut up. That shit hurt. Come on. It does hurt. All right, can you break me saying? down there. Come on, let's let's go. I can't build with you there. Uh -huh. Romans chapter nine and right. verse four. Who are Israelites to pro whom pertaineth the adoption? Right. Romans chapter thirteen. Verse thirteen. Uh -huh. As it is written. As it is written in Malachi chapter one, three through four. Read. Jacob have I loved. Who? Jacob have I loved. Who? Jacob have I loved. Uh -huh. But Esau have I hated. Hate. Hate. The Lord hates your stinking ass. That's right. You better hate me more. Go so on, I can prosper better. better. Come on. Okay. Keep hitting me with that. Let's do, let's do a drug tale. I'm going to stay right here, bro. Can you keep hitting me with it? Keep Hebrews it. chapter 12 and verse 16. Oh, Lest there be any fornicator. Who? Any fornicator. Hey, this damn Woo. man is a damn fornicator. And I like somebody getting Esau chapter 50. Fornication the whole tree. Come on. Or profane person uh -huh. as Esau, as who? As Esau, as wow. who for one, okay. who for one okay. morsel of meat sold his birthright. Well, you sold your birthright. Your bill time is almost over. Where? You had the kingdom for over five hundred years, and now I the Lord is restoring the kingdom. kingdom. Back to Israel, man. I was born now, somebody give me Isaiah, my baby. Next day, three or five. I never know. We're gonna bring that again. Come on, hit me with real shit. Hit me one. Hit me one. This is from the Psalms, chapter fifty-eight, verse three. The wicked are. Suck it. Are estranged from the womb. You know what I'm damn wicked as hell. I'm your born race. They go astray as soon as they are. Suck it. As soon as they be born. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. Speaking lies. The Lord said you damn talking. You telling a lie right now. Tell me. Come on. I'm telling lies. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. The Lord said the part from what you don't know. I was born in 1993. What I lie about? Numbers chapter 35 and verse 33. What so I shall ye not the pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood and the Bible the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And the Lord said, Look, y'all shed the blood with your children of Israel when we came over here. You came over here, took the Gadites, killed them, came over here, took the damn Native Americans, slaughtered them, Absolutely. came over here, took his car, slaughtered them, and it's then you saw the Native Americans, which are the children of Judah. That's not me. The Lord said you're going to be damn destroyed, man. He's not playing with you. Why, the, why would he tell me when okay. I was born in 1993 that I did that? Huh? I didn't do that. I didn't slaughter nobody. Tell me what Tell me what the fuck I did. It's somebody my been, people. That's not my people. I never, I never posted that. That's what the Lord said, man. Come on, man. And somebody give me some right tell to the 41 verse 7. Tell me Isaiah something chapter I did. 14 and uh -huh. verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare who? slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. For who? For his children. For who? For his children. Okay, the Lord said you're wicked as hell, you're the child of the damn devil, man. Okay, let me get the book of Sarah, chapter 41 and verse 7, man.